So do you want a simple video script that helped me to get one of my clients from chasing clients to having new prospects contacting her almost every day of the week? Okay, look, stay right here and get the script that helps you to build your visibility, be clear with your message, and connect with your audience. My name is Deidre Beecham, the video buzz builder, and I'm coming with, to you every single week with video tips and advice on how to be bold, be you, and be known. Uh, you can be sure to be one of the first people to see the new videos that come out by clicking on the subscribe button, button, <laughs> the subscribe button, please do that now, and don't forget to click the bell to be notified. Now look, now before I dig really deep into the script, uh, there are a few ground rules uh, that that make this script work and bef without having these ground rules in place the script just is not as effective and in fact these ground rules are important for your videos to be successful whether you use my script or somebody else's seriously um, now after I finish sharing this script with you the information that you're here for I'm also going to share a quick tip at the end uh, to help you to build more buzz for yourself okay so Let's get going. Ground rules. Number one, there's three ground rules. Number one, you have to be yourself. Seriously, it's the most important thing when you're on video. Maybe not the most important thing because you also need to look like, you know, calm. Because if you're uptight and full of angst, your audience will too. And, and nobody wants to see that. Okay, so you need to be calm and be relaxed. The best way to do that is to be yourself, be comfortable with yourself, be comfortable with yourself on camera. I'll do a shoot another video on how to do that, but you need to be yourself. So why is this so important? Besides what I've already told you, it's important because it helps to eliminate the competition. Okay. Um, people, a lot, especially people that are new, that are just starting out with video, they think, oh, you know, well, I watched Sally do videos this way and so that's the way I need to do videos and I'm gonna be just like her except then you sound like Sally and you don't sound like you and that's a problem because people have tuned in to see you not Sally's mimic okay I don't know who Sally is just pick a name so anyway it eliminates the competition because if you are truly you if you are being authentically you then you are who shows up no one else is like you you are being unique that sets you apart from your competition um, Two, authenticity wins the game okay it just does it, there's something about the the video screen that is kind of like a, an authenticity detector right instead of a lie detector it's an authenticity detector so if you are not authentic if you are not authentically you if you are not being truthful uh, of being full of integrity in your videos it's going to come across so be yourself be you be authentic okay and the third reason that you need to be yourself is that somebody's waiting for you okay it may have been the message that they've heard from two other people three other people ten other people plus their spouse right <laughs> and it just hasn't resonated hasn't clicked with them because they haven't heard it from you okay somebody out there is waiting for you and they can't move on and be as successful as they would otherwise be without your information so be you all right so look so you know people say well of course yeah I need to be myself number two this is the second ground rule second ground rule is you have to know how the information in your video is going to help your audience Okay, I know this is another duh moment, but it is so important. Videos, I'm talking to service-based entrepreneurs here. Videos aren't just for you spouting out information. How is this information going to help your audience? In this video, you know. You know that I'm going to give you a script that is going to help you to go from maybe having a garbled information or a start to having a way that helps to bring visibility, it clears things, excuse me, clears things with your audience and makes it so that people can connect with you. That's what this script is all about. So you have to know how your information that you're going to be giving to your audience is going to help them and then tell them. 
tell them how they're going to benefit. Okay. Um, also, another thing is making sure that you know. Let, let's say whatever the topic is you're going to talk about. Let's say you're going to talk about um, the keto diet, and one of the best ways to stand out not only is by being yourself and being authentic, but three, check out your competition. Check out and see what they're doing. What are they talking about? Is there something that they're missing? Is there something that you can add to the conversation? Is there something that's different about what the information that they're offering that you can offer? How can you stand out from the other people that are talking about the same topic? Now, it may be that there is no other information. It's just a matter of you being you. But if there's something, you don't, you don't know if there's something missing unless you go and check it out. So check it out. All right. So number three. Okay, these are the ground rules. Remember, you need to be yourself. You need to know how the information that you are offering is going to help your audience. Number three, you have to remember at all times with every single video, you serve two masters. Your first master is your audience. Second master is YouTube. Okay, so let's talk about this real quick. So of course it's your audience. Of course you have to deliver to your audience. You have to deliver great information to your audience, but it is not your only master, okay? You have to serve YouTube because YouTube is how your audience is going to get there. Now, of course, yes, you can let people know. You can give them links. You can click. You can you leave your uh, a link to your video in your email. You can uh, send it over to Facebook. There are a lot of other ways you can get people there, but you know, one of the things you one of the ways you want people to get to your video is because YouTube has suggested it. So, if somebody has gone in and they've searched for your topic and your video happens to pop up, you want people to click on it. So there are three ways that people that there are three ways that YouTube can tell that you have great content, that you are the person that they want to send people to, that they want to send their audience to. Okay? One click through. So if you put in search, you're, if an audience member, a searcher, puts in information and your video pops up, if they click on it, this is called click through, if they click on your video as opposed to someone else's, they click on yours, this is called click through. So that your video has popped up and they've clicked through to your video. Okay, that's one of the ways that that YouTube knows that you are providing good content when people are searching somebody actually clicks on your video which means your thumbnail is incredibly important okay yes your title is important as well but you, you once they get there are they actually going to click on your video so I'm going to do another video all about thumbnail because it's a whole other topic but you need to make sure you're serving YouTube by putting in the right title and also a thumbnail that gets you to get more click-throughs or increases your click-through rate. The second way that YouTube knows that you have great content is watch time. So once somebody gets to your video, let's say you have a 10 minute video, are they staying for the full 10 minutes? Or are they staying for nine, nine and a half minutes? Or, or are they getting into about 15 seconds in and going eh and going away? That's your watch time. So the more watch time you have on your video and on your channel, the more likely it is that YouTube is going to send more audiences to you when they use a search term that you actually qualify for. Okay, so really important. You need to make sure that people are actually watching through. How do you do that? Create good content. Okay, but that's what the script is all about today. Yeah, let's do um, uh, one more for how YouTube knows that you have great content. The third is, do they stay on your channel? Do people watch one video and go, eh, there's nothing really else interesting here, I'm going to go somewhere else. Okay, then YouTube isn't going to necessarily recommend you. You're going to go down in the searches. But if somebody watches your video, let's say they watch to completion, and then they watch another of your videos, oh, so not only do you qualify, for that, but wow, people stayed on your channel. So I wanted to share with you some end screen. So this is Mel Robbins. And as you can see here, she's finishing up her presentation. And then the end screen pops up and she points to the two videos. This is one of the end screens you can add on YouTube. And this is Dan Locke. Now he did something a little bit different where instead of continuing to talk in his end screen, he actually created his own, well he actually is still talking up here, but he actually created his own a little backdrop. This part is actually all a part of what YouTube can add. But he got very fancy. 
Then we've got Marie Forleo, and she did something very similar with hers, where she created her own backdrop. But again, this is the end screen that YouTube supplies. And one more. This is actually a really fun band, Pomplamous. And right here at the end, they did something similar, but this is the part that YouTube actually will add for you. And this as well, that's the sign up. Okay? Now, YouTube serves one master, one only. They don't, they don't serve you. All right? They do not serve you. They serve the searcher. They don't even serve the advertisers. The, adver the advertisers serve YouTube. <laughs> I mean, seriously. The only person that YouTube is a servant to is the searcher. Because without searchers, there is no ad, ad revenue. Without searchers, there is no YouTube. There's no reason for you. Okay, so that is their only master. They are only concerned about that. They will give you tools in order for you to serve them so that they can serve their searcher. So it's really important for you to understand how YouTube works. All right, so now that the ground rules are out of the way, okay, you make sure you hang on to those. Let's go on and talk about the formula itself. I like to call this formula the bold X script formula. Now, before going on and, and really ramping up my YouTube channel again, I used to just call this bold script because I've used this with hundreds, thousands of clients and also myself for doing videos on Facebook and for commercials, etc. But I added the X because this is all about YouTube and how YouTube works. So it is now the bold X formula. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. The B stands for bonk them on the head. Okay, you have six seconds. You have six seconds to grab people's attention. After they've clicked through, you've got the click through rate and they've, they've, uh, they've done a search, they click through and they're on your video, you have six seconds, seriously, to grab people's attention, enough attention that they actually want to continue watching your video. That's it. That's all you have. So what are you going to say in those first six seconds? <laughs> now, uh, there are three that I use primarily. There are tons and tons of ways. People teach tons of ways. I like to keep things simple. There are three main ones that I utilize, and I'm going to share them with you now. One is a question. Ask a question. Do you want a script formula that is going to make your life easier? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I want to watch that. Okay, how about a statistic? A statistic is great. And this is a true statistic, the one I'm going to share with you. It's estimated that by 2022, 82% of all global internet traffic is going to come from video streaming and downloads. Wow. That's interesting, right? It piqued people's attention to keep watching. Let's see what else is going to be said in this video. Um, enticement. Here's an example of enticement. Um, Make more money, and I keep diverting my eyes because I'm looking at my notes, okay? <laughs> oh, make more money with these three sales techniques. Oh, that's enticing. I, I, yeah, I want to learn about those three techniques. Um, now, the, the, how I started this video is I combined two of the techniques. I combined the question and the enticement because the question that I asked was, how I started this video was, do you want the simple video script that helps one of my clients go from chasing clients to having new prospects contacting her all week long? So it's a question, but it's also enticing because I'm going to share the script with you. Okay, so as you use one of those, they will work for a variety of, variety of reasons, a variety of scripts, a variety of videos, and you can also combine them to make even more opportunities for you. Okay, so now that you've grabbed their attention with the bonk on the head, let's go to the O in bold. And O is own who you are, right? So it's, it's the three W's. I think this is the easiest way to remember this. It is what is your name, who are you to your clients, and why should somebody turn in, tune into you? Turn into you. <laughs> Nobody should turn into you. But they need to tune into you. Okay, so what is your name, who are you to your clients, and why should they tune into you? Now, this needs to be powerful, but quick as hell. I mean, fast. Do not drone on and on about who you are. No one cares. No one cares. 
they don't. Sorry. <laughs> they just they just don't. Okay. What they came for was information. They did not come to learn a history about who you are and why they need to listen to you. That's just not important to them. You know, why should they listen to you? Because you give damn good content. That's why they should listen to you. So give them great content. So now it is important for people to know your name. Of course, you need to brand yourself. So again, here's the three W's using this formula for me. My name is Deidre Beecham. The Video Buzz Builder. Coming to you each week with video tips and advice on how to be bold, be you, and be known. Okay, the three W's. What is my name? Deidre Beecham. Who am I to my clients? The Video Buzz Builder. Why should you tune in to me? I'm going to deliver each week tips and advice on how to be bold, be you, and be known on YouTube. Uh, actually, I don't even say on YouTube because I'm going to help you be known everywhere. Ah! All right, let's keep going. All right, so look. So speaking of your audience, which we've been talking about, of course, if you are getting valuable nuggets of information from this video, please let me know in the comments. I promise I'm going to read every single comment. I will reply back to you or at least put a little heart or something on it, letting you know that I have read it. I'd love to hear from you and understand oh, what's resonating for you. And also, be sure to subscribe and click the bell. Okay, let's go on with this script. L, that's the next part in bold. Remember, we bonked up on the head. We've owned who you are. And the three is lead them. Now, this is where the bulk of your content is going to come from. This is where how you're taking people from where they are to where they want to be. And you are leading them on that path. So it's the content. So I'm assuming that you're here because you want a script. Uh, maybe you haven't been getting clients from your scripts. Maybe you haven't been growing from your scripts. Maybe you, you just you didn't you weren't even using a script. Okay. And I'm gonna give you a script that's going to help you to build your credibility, build your visibility, get you known, right? Getting people contacting you. That's what the script is all about. So now I am on this path of sharing that with you. Now on this path, there are three things. I like the number three. I like keep things simple. Three is a nice simple number. So there are three rules for your content. One, it needs to be easy to understand. Don't make things super complicated. Okay, you want people walking away feeling empowered, like they can do something with this. It's not something for them. Sorry about that. You don't want them walking away going, okay, what did that mean? I, I, you don't want people looking words up in their phone while they're watching you and pausing it, trying to figure out what the hell you're talking about. Okay, make it simple, easy to understand. Two, actionable. Talked briefly about this just a moment ago actionable. So whatever it is that you're talking about, is it something that they can walk away and utilize right away to start making a difference in their lives, in their business, where they're trying to go to? You want to help them. Okay, so easy to understand, actionable. Three, oh my god, no missing steps. Seriously. Hey, today I'm going to share three of my five-step formula. Don't, don't do that. That's just so cheesy. It's so 1990s. In 2008, it's, you just don't do that. That's just so low. Help people, all right? You know, we be sitting there going, but Deidre, I'm trying to sell stuff. Sure, you're trying to sell stuff, but if, if you're trying to sell information, you're in the wrong decade, okay? This is the decade where all the information is free. What you need to be selling, what you need to be selling is true transformation. Maybe it's accountability. Maybe it's really getting in deep with somebody and helping them to underform, understand, transform something. You're transforming people's business, transforming their lives. That's what you sell. And I'm talking to service-based entrepreneurs here. That's, that's who my audience is, service-based entrepreneurs. So you want to give information, you sell transformation. Now, I'm not saying you can't give many, shh, shh. you can't give many, my, my dog, <laughs> you can't give many transformations away in your videos, of course. I can give away transformations all the time. Right now, I'm helping you to transform the way you do, you do scripts for your videos. All right? So, three rules. Easy to understand. Actionable. Don't miss steps. It's just cheesy. Um, okay. D. This is the bold formula. The bold X formula. D stands for deliver. 
So once you've done with all the content, you've led them from the beginning to the end, you want to deliver them to what to do next. Okay, a lot of people call this a call to action. Call to action, I like to call it deliver because it's all about delivering value for people. So a call to action is, is you're not necessarily delivering solid value. Just go with me. Okay, so D is for deliver. So there are tons of things you can do here. You can ask people to comment. You can ask people to ask a question back to you. Please stop barking. <laughs> it's raining and my dog loves the rain. He wants to go see it. All right, so look. So it can be, um, you can ask them to click like, you can ask them to subscribe because they're going to get uh, great information from you. Ask them to watch another video, sign up for your course. Okay, now if you are new to YouTube and building an audience for yourself, especially when you're starting out, that's what you want them to do is you want them to subscribe. Okay, you want them to subscribe and watch another video of yours because you want to increase your watch time, you want to increase the time on your channel. Okay, build your following. And if somebody hasn't clicked subscribe on the one video that you're doing right then, maybe they'll click subscribe on another video. Okay, so you want people to stay and give them a reason to by telling them where to go, delivering them to the next step. So um, this just helps to keep your audience with you. Now, yay, we've reached the X part of the bold X formula. X stands for extra. Okay, so this is just extra this is this is the bonus this is it's a reason for people to stay towards the end remember one of the things that YouTube uses to qualify whether you are a great place to send their audience their master the searcher is if you have great watch time so a great way to keep people from the beginning all the way to the end is to promise something in the beginning that you're going to deliver in the end and this has got to be just as valuable if not more valuable than your content that you had leading up to that point okay you don't ever want this to be just some kind of wussy thing oh yeah that's right I got to add a bonus and uh, okay this I'll th I guess suppose I'll throw this in no it needs to be it needs to be extra it's, it's like that X factor of this is really cool okay and you, you need to stay for this part because this, this is neat and as you do this and people realize that really is a good thing they are going to stay to the end because it was a really good thing All right okay so um, so I have an X factor right so I told you at the beginning because that's the end of the bold X script formula you have the B um, which was bonk them on the head O is own who you are L was lead them D deliver X is the extra thing Okay, so I'm done with my portion, and now, just as I told you in the beginning, if you stay to the end, I would give you an extra buzz building tip, and here it is. So you can have the best script in the world with the best information, but if the title isn't something people are actually searching for, Google doesn't know to send them to you. Okay, because it just won't be won't be found. It's not there. So fortunately, YouTube makes this super super duper easy and easy to figure out. The search board, Pippin, the search board. All right, here, come say hi. Come here, come here. Everybody has to see who you are now, because you're so noisy and disrupting everything. So this is Pippin. Hey, Pippin. All right, enough of that. All right, so. So in, in the search bar, as you as you are typing in, so here I'm gonna I'm gonna show you an example of this right now. So as you're typing a word in, what YouTube is going to show you is the most popular terms using those words, the most top popular phrases using those words. Now they put them in order of the things that people actually search for. You do have to be careful when you're looking at this. If you've been searching for things in YouTube, previous to doing this research the you need to look at the little symbol next to the word if it has what looks like a clock next to it that is a term you have searched for it is not necessarily part of the results so what you want is you want the magnifying glass this will tell you the things that your the searchers are looking for on YouTube in association with those terms now you can also use tools that will help you 
that integrate with YouTube. Personally, I use TubeBuddy. Uh, there's no reason I'm not particularly affiliated with it right now, although I probably should be really soon. As of the recording of this video, TubeBuddy has a free version, and it allows you to search up to 25 searches in a 24 hour period. And to me, TubeBuddy is a must have. It gives you so many other terms, some alternate uh, things to search for. It helps me out with my tags. It does a ton to help make sure that what I am putting as a title for my video and what uh, I'm delivering to you as content is what you're actually searching for. Okay, so don't forget to subscribe to be notifi notified about more videos like this. Click the bell. Ding! Okay, <laughs> and if there's something you want me to do a video about, let me know in the comments and I will take care of that. Uh, stay with me and watch another one of my videos, either keep waiting. I think they're here. Okay, watch watch one of my videos, and um, we'll see you next time. Until then, be bold, be you, be numb. Take care.